Okay, everybody, welcome back to Learn with Minecraft Education. Today, we're going to be back on Tinker, and we're going to be trying to create custom weapons for Minecraft Education. Now, make sure you stick around to the end of today's video because we are going to be trying to create the Master Sword from Legend of Zelda and import it into Minecraft and see how it looks. So, it should be pretty interesting. Okay, everybody, let's dive straight in. We are in the Tinker homepage now. We're going to create Minecraft resources. You can sign in with your Microsoft account, and then we're going to create items. Make sure you've got Minecraft Windows 10 forward slash pocket edition selected, and we're going to scroll down through the templates here and select the diamond sword. So we're going to be putting a new texture onto this item so that it looks very different, but it's the same item when we go into our inventory later on. Make sure you select freehand because that lets us draw um, outside of the, the pre-existing uh, template. I'll just speed this up a bit and you can see what I'm trying to do is just to create like a totally over the top uh, crazy looking sword. Uh, just have a bit of fun, it's kind of fun putting different colours in and getting something looking a bit crazy. Do a wooden handle there and some kind of sparks flying off around the edge. It's a bit full on but uh, that's fine. So in the top left here, just move my head out of the way, um, in the top left here, I've renamed this to Mega Sword, so I'm just giving it a name that uh, I'll be able to find easily later on. And I am going to click the little download cloud icon, and then click download now. And that downloads a Mac add-on file that I can open with uh, Minecraft Education Edition. Now, I'm going to do a couple more weapons here. I'm just going to speed this up really quickly. So I'm going to do a bow, and I'm going to do an arrow as well. And after that, we'll have a look at um, importing those in. So here's the bow. Again, I'll just do a completely over the top crazy bow. Um, and I'll add in some gold tips over there. Get some green on there. And maybe should I change the string? No, that's fine. Next, the arrow. So let's do the arrow um, again. Totally over the top. Crazy arrow. And um, right, let's, uh, let's now move across to question corner to see what's going on. Okay, everyone, welcome back to Question Corner. Today we've got a question from Scooby Craft, who says, can you make a zombie apocalypse add-on for Minecraft education? Um, I'd be interested in doing that. I haven't seen one of those while I've been looking around. Um, but maybe someone could drop a link in the description. I'll be happy to make a video of that and look into it for you, okay? Thanks. Okay, so we are now back into Minecraft Education Edition and we're going to load in these resource packs. So we start a new world, click resource packs, my packs, and we are activating the bow, the arrow, and the mega sword. And we're just gonna click play. All right, it's as simple as that. And uh, then once we are in our world, we just fly up a little bit here to, uh, so we can see clearly. I'm going to go to my, press E to go into my inventory, make sure I'm in creative mode. I don't wanna have to craft these. And if I type in arrow, and bow and sword, uh, they will come up where my other ones were. So you can see the texture pack has changed also in the inventory as well, which is cool. Uh, so they're selected now, let's close this and have a little go. There's my bow, looking cool. And my awesome diamond sword. Not diamond sword anymore, is it? It's something, it's the mega sword now, isn't it? I forgot. And um, my arrow there, if I hold it, looks like that. Now something you might find with these is when you use the arrow, notice there it switches back to the old texture, which is a bit of a shame. I'm uh, not really sure how to get it to stop doing that. I guess maybe there's a separate texture pack for when it's being used and for when it's just being held. Uh, but still, it looks pretty cool. And there's the arrow there. Right, so as I said, I will finish up today by doing our Master Sword. So on one side of the screen here, I've got some Google, a Google image of the Master Sword. And uh, I'm just copying that across using the Diamond Sword as a template. And just drawing freehand, making that handle a little bit bigger and the gold little emblem there. And I'll save that up. Um, I'm not going to rename it to Master Sword. I'll just keep it saved as Diamond Sword. And uh, download that and pop it into uh, Minecraft Education Edition. And uh, we'll see what it looks like. There it is. Um, looks pretty cool. Master Sword. I don't think it looks too bad. All right, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, please do make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, we're going to be doing some more kind of tinker stuff later on and a few more lessons as well. I do want to do... Um, our say and tell commands as well. So a few more command lessons coming up, I think. Uh, but for now, that's it. Um, have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time.